Today we are in one of the world's largest industrial diamond manufacturing facilities, U.S. Synthetic, and we have special permission to see how this machine behind me manufactures genuine Mohs 10 level polycrystalline black diamond. To make a diamond is actually incredibly simple while at the same time extraordinarily difficult. The first ingredient, if you're following along at home, is a baggie of monolithic diamond polishing powder. We know that diamonds form under extreme heat and extreme pressure, which is true. But also, we need a dash of cobalt from this piece of cobalt cemented tungsten carbide. Now that we have our ingredients secured into the thimble, the giant press is able to create two diamonds at a time, using, and this is true, clean white table salt to center the two diamond molds inside a metal cylinder. The heater tube is then placed within a block of talc, also formed here at the same factory in a similar way as the salt, and circular metal contacts are placed on either end of the block. The diamond press itself is monstrous. Its whole job is to focus over 1 million PSI onto the diamond mold we just assembled. If you don't happen to have one of these 6 piston mega million PSI cubic presses at home, you can also use 2,000 elephants stacked on a Rubik's Cube, 900 school buses all parked on a post-it note, or the equivalent of the whole Eiffel Tower placed in the palm of your hand. The cool part about the whole diamond mold being made from salt and talc powder means that cleanup is incredibly safe, non-toxic, and simple. You might have noticed that this particular diamond we created is still attached to its tungsten carbide substrate. In most cases, this tungsten carbide base doubles as a mounting location for each individual tooth on the drill head. But we can also grind away the tungsten carbide base completely, leaving behind just the black diamond. Moment of truth, it's time for a scratch test. We have our Mose 9, and it should leave no marks on the surface because the only thing that can scratch a diamond is a diamond. There are no scratches at a level 9, and zero deeper grooves to be had. 